better. Here we go. We're in business. Five minutes later. Look at the shreds on the land. Hello. Here he is. And you showing off, but it's all right. And you showing off, but it's all right. It's a short life. Are you boys um, coming up to London again anytime soon or not? Whenever you're free, mate, we're there. You should you should come up, mate. Winter Wonderland's open now. We go for a few little. Sounds good. <laughs> Get right on goal. No, right? yeah, no, no. We will come up and do something. That sounds good. A little mandate. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, 100, percent mate. All right, well, yeah, definitely. We'll get videos involved. Q and A's involved. You're lots, mate. You're on this video, George. To say something funny or, or nice about me. Yeah, I, I will. Get no, like, up, no, up, like yeah. now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally filming now. So say something nice. Oh, okay. I see what you mean, mate. What do you want me to say for you? <laughs> no, you meant to just beautiful? think of something instantly. <laughs> just say something nice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got anything to say nice about you. Like, you're a horrible sorry. prick, you you're are. You're a scummer. You're a scummer, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Two very cold lads on a Tuesday morning push day. Starting with heavy bend, do you want to hear? 105 for doubles today, team. That's the 105 goal. for doubles is the goal. So right. that's what we're starting the vlog off. Uh, we're filming today, we haven't filmed a vlog. I feel like for ages, didn't film anything last week. Just, uh, well, filmed the leg day with Beth. So it's a push day with Al. We're just going to chill out after. So yeah, I thought I'd film a bit anyway. Maybe get a Q&A. &A. Should we get a little Q&A going? Maybe. I'll, I'll try that. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Q&A We might going. film a Q&A afterwards. We'll put, right. we'll put one on the Instagram. On the stories, all right? You'll be watching this later, but head to the story now. <laughs> no, that makes no sense. <laughs> Right then, we've got ourselves pre workout sauce, caffeine sauce, TNT. You add this out, it's a syrup. <laughs> right, let's yeah, see. Yeah, this is like. That was like. Flavour this. Concentrate. Oh shit. <laughs> Kiwi and lime. I have the orange one. Do you want a bit? I'll try a little, have a little sip and then I'll, then I'll go for it. 300 milligrams caffeine in this. Is that better? It's gonna blow your head. Not that the whole thing. Wow, that's sharp. Mate, when I did the last one, I said I'd rather do a shot of tequila. Oh my god, that's really sharp. And I'd snap by that. The flavour was there, it was just sharp. Yeah. Right. It's like drinking really, really strong squats. Like squats, yeah. strong squats. Straight, yeah. <laughs> straight from the bottom. Right, push day, let's go. Okay then guys, we've decided to jump into a voiceover. It hasn't been, it's been a very, very long time since I've done a voiceover. So if you like the voiceovers, smash the thumbs up button. And if you're here for the Q&A, go to the time on screen. Right, let's get into this. So like I said, this bench is three sets of doubles. Uh, we're working with 105 kilos, which is 95% of my max, which is actually probably a little bit too heavy. As you'll see for my last set, I didn't actually complete it. But we're warming up here. We did 50 kilos, 70 kilos, and then 90 kilos. And uh, once we've warmed up, that's when we hit our first working sets. So Al hit a three by three, I hit a three by two. Right, that's me finish off with 90 there. So oh, Al's doing a bit of Instagram in shock. Crack on, lad. So yeah, Al's set is nice and solid. If you look at his feet positioning, he does have his toes of his, he has his toes, toes of his feet planted and not his heels. I can't bench like that. I like to plant my heels. I feel like I've got my core nice and tight and my legs engaged when I do that, as you can see on screen now. So set one, nice and simple. Uh, felt really, really good. I only filmed set one and set three. So this is our set three. He smashed it out of the park. Set rep two was a little bit hard, but then he uh, set himself again and rep three was solid. As you can see now, my last set, not so good. I got the first rep nice and comfortably. I took a little bit of time at the top. I knew that this last rep was going to be a re massive struggle. Got it off the chest okay, but I couldn't manage the lockout. So Al's little fingertips on the spot helped me f finish that lockout. Right, for the rest of the workout then, we did a landmine press. So it's a single arm isolation press. Uh, working with that plate, we had 25 kilos on the end of the plate. If you notice here, me and Al both holding the sort of chest shoulder area, making sure we're feeling that muscle engage, feeling that muscle work. Nice and powerful, nice and explosive. This was a really good movement. We then moved on to 21s with uh, incline bench press. So that's seven low reps, seven high reps, and seven full reps. Three rounds of that, that's a great chest burner, targeting different angles. 
Then this is a nice superset that I do quite often. It is just side raises into cable flies. You look at it around 15 reps on uh, each there. Then we went into the YTIs, which are rear duck flies, side raises, and front raises on an incline bench. This is more of an isolation movement. You don't want to go too heavy for this one. And then lastly, we finished off some tricep work, so heavy push downs. Then went into some lighter push downs and finished with some lighter extensions. So give that workout a try. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the Q&A and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, less than ideal. Mate, get that car open. <laughs> I can't find my keys. Mate, you should have done this. What are you playing at? What are you playing at? Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Woo. Okay, push day wrapped up. Mate, these angles are all weird. Bumped into two nice blokes. Just followed on Instagram. Come on, we didn't even get two the names. Slides. No, two nice lads. Uh, two nice lads. Uh, just, just like us. Both boys. Yeah, yeah. Just like us. 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 Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to go Starbs, do a little bit of work, get some food, and then film this Q&A. Look who's just joined, and look at her new coat. She's copied me with a long coat. It's basically the same. Trends that are on, yeah. Let's do this, team. Q&A with Al. Oh, yeah. We're doing short, quick, quick fire questions on this YouTube video, and then head over to Al's channel for, like, more in-depth. So we've taken them from the stories, saved them in their notes, and we're going to go 10 questions, nice, fast, quick fire round. Back you to back. go. Yeah, sound. <clears throat> Sweet! Right, you start. Uh, what celebrity is on your list? What one celebrity is your crush, go to, if you could get away with sleeping where you would? <laughs> In a deep end straight away. Apolo uh, uh, yeah, disclaimer, sorry, but. Uh, who do I fancy most? Oh, it is quite a tough one, actually. That is. Right, these are going to be quick. Oh, so, I've got it, I've got it. Go, go. you go. Louisa Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a yeah. weapon, and yeah. she loves the manner. Okay. <laughs> I will go. Similar, I'd, I'd probably go Rigor Aura. Yeah, decent, decent. Right, right. Next, one. next one. Uh Go to Starbucks order. Venti ice latte, almond milk, sugar free caramel. <laughs> that bangs. That is <laughs> that is the winter drink yeah, for me. Yeah. And then, no, 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 that's the summer drink. Summer drink, and then semi in winter, just not iced. Yeah, so, or cold brew. It's depending on, depend on like how much I want a coffee. Favourite clothing brands, gym or lifestyle at the moment? So let's do one lifestyle one, one of each. Gym. Okay, uh, clothing brand. Uh, gym shop, no, Alphalete for gym because they're sort of mixing lifestyle and fitness, so I kind of like that. And then in terms of lifestyle, probably the Couture Club. I just did an order for Christmas. Yeah, I think they're killing it, Ross Hall's week. And yeah, uh, Couture Club's banging on else. I would probably choose the Couture Club as well. Yeah, they just, their clothes are really cool. I think they're just killing it. Um, in terms of gym stuff, not really doing them a lot of the like Gymshark, Alpha Leap, Nike, that sort of stuff. Did recently put in order on Boohoo and got some active wear from there. Um, stuff to wear down the studio and stuff to wear in the gym as well. And he's just made a video of that, so yeah, just a little bit of video on it. It'll go, it'll go um, down below. But uh, yeah, Boohoo Man doing some pretty good stuff at the moment with some cheap, cheap stuff. So I think that's what you makes wear it more attractive. Yeah, definitely. It's just so cheap. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Favourite go to gym song for PR? Oh, go to gym song. Gym song. Uh, probably. Oh, mate. I got two. That's a tough one. I got two. What? Both Eminem. One phenomenal soundtrack for uh, Southport, and then two is. Well, I'm gonna have to find it because I can't remember the name. Quickly, quickly. Venom soundtrack for Venom. Uh, yeah, Eminem again. Yeah. Both bang for me. I would probably say. Oh, I'll probably choose, if I'm going to choose two, it would be one grimy track yeah. and one probably quite rocky track. Rocky track would probably be a Linkin Park song, yeah, fair Somewhere enough. I Belong, or the tra first Transformers track, that's Bangs. Um, or, and like a grimy one might be something like, I played Garage Skank <laughs> freestyled <laughs> by Kano yesterday in my class and that went down the fucking tree. <laughs> yeah, I did hear that. Okay, you go. Number three. Uh, what hair product do you use? Wave, wave BO5. BO5. Wave 105. I can't remember what the name of it, so it's a blue long tubey thing. Yeah, I know what one, yeah. Huh. That's, that's, a pretty that, that's a very good, like, standard yeah. one. You? Um, Uppercut Deluxe. Uh, oh, mate, I don't know exactly which one. Put a picture on the screen. We'll put a picture on the screen here. Ding, 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 ding. 
Child Man's Vault 2019. Me, your older brother, and Charlie Brown, mm -hmm. we have decided to each chuck in 150 quid every four months, uh, and then one person's going to choose a destination for us to go and fly to. Nice. All right. And you don't know, you know what the weather's like, but you don't know what the country is until you get there. Until the airport. Until the airport. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we're probably going to do, you know, like some places around Europe or stuff, like short, short city breaks. Also going to do our beefer, small possibility of me doing hideout with your boy Rohanwar and lastly we're going to go and do Dubai for mine and Charlie's birthday. Nice. Uh, I'm possibly skiing as well. Yeah. Going away a lot. <laughs> I've got already booked Barca in Jan, New York in Feb, potentially skiing April-ish time, yeah. potentially Texas to compete in summer trading and then definitely a hot holiday after that. Yeah. 100%. Five times was the aim to try and get away. My next one was a uh, travel one as well. Okay, go. Uh, best destination you flew to this year? Uh, probably Texas, because that trip always bangs. Yeah. And looking back at it, I just look back at the videos like, oh, occasionally. Mate, that's the best thing. So that's good. One of the best things about vlogging is yeah. just being able to look back on like, the trips oh, literally, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's probably my favourite. Yeah. I can't even think where I've been, to be fair. Where else have I been? Prague with the boys was sick as well. Sorry, Beth, I'm not saying any holidays for you, but... <laughs> yeah, Prague was sick as well. Sorry, Beth. Um, my summer was fucking sick going to Ibiza, coming back for a few days and going off to Nice. Which one? Do, Which one? French one? Yeah. Oh, mate. I'm going to say Ibiza was better, but I can't be Ibiza. Done. Feb time of the day to train. This is a nice quick one. I like training at midday, simply because evenings I find too busy and I just... I don't know, my energy yeah, goes down in the evenings. Yeah. Mornings, same again, I need a bit of time. I'm determined to work in the morning, so yeah. midday, sort of 11 to 2-ish is when I train and yeah. it bangs for me. I'm probably You're saying, saying yeah. It's, it's getting up early for work that does that, innit? You can't, yeah. can't train straight away. And I can't, we, well, we can't really train in the evenings anyway. No. But I don't, don't really like training in the evenings. Right, what is your go-to service station protein meal? This is a great question. Right, so I'm going... Right, let's just say we're at a service station, like not no hot food. No. You go straight away, you look for a protein bar, probably gonna be a grenade bar if you're at a service station. Yeah, they're about nowadays. You get a, a protein shake in a meal deal. Yeah, co-op, do that. Very yeah, well. and then you find, you complete the meal deal with a sandwich, ideally with decent meat sauce in it, and then your snack, oh, I'm trying to pick a chicken saute snack or something like yeah, those. Something like that. What yeah. are those little, little things Thank called? You. Yeah, like chicken satay. Yeah, that's that, that's my go-to. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, and then you just get a water for the top. Yeah, I think I've worked out one of the best sandwiches you can have is like chicken and bacon. Yeah, quite, quite standard, high in fats, but quite high in fats. Yeah, but you'll get the most protein in that. I think the yeah, carrot one is like top meal deal. Test Tesco's meal deal bangs. Yeah, as well. It's another good meal deal. And that leads me on to the last question, which is sort of your best or go-to pre-workout of choice. Um, of, of all the ones that you've had for like forever, all the ones that's your favourite that you had, mate. The original grenade, like fifty calibre. Never had that, mate. It was fucking like potent. <laughs> but I tell you what, it was like drinking gravel. It uh. was it was like horrible, horrible consistency. You would never mix up well at all. But we used to bang a sh like a scoop every time I went to the gym, and you were on fire. Oh. For me, I still believe in. Ghost, watermelon, yeah. mixed with a monster, wine monster. That's just absolutely, tastes amazing and I'll get a good buzz yeah. of that. What's the old one called? Uh, uh, the one I've got back? Yeah. Jack 3D? Jack 3D, yeah, Jack never 3D. Never had that either. No, I did have Jack 3D. Game. I did have Jack 3D, uh, but I only took it once. Was it good? Someone gave it to me, yeah. Sick. Someone who can get hold of it, send it our way. Yeah. Right. That's going to sign out for Q&A with me now and also wrap up the video as well. We just filmed a day today because I haven't been filming much. So I hope you've enjoyed it. The longer, bigger questions are on Al's channel, so that will be linked below. Go and check that out if you enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.